Alright, we're now going to take a look at an introduction to exponents. So first, an exponent is written as the small number, the superscript, that is written above and to the right of a number. And what does that mean? Uh, an exponent is just trying to tell us something. It's trying to tell us what to do. So it's trying to tell us the number of times that it is being used as a factor. So first of all, we think back to factor, we're talking about multiplication. So this 2 is telling us the number of times that the 5 is being used as a factor. So that 5 is being used twice as a factor. So 5 times 5, that's what that 2 is telling us. It's telling us that there are two 5's there being multiplied. So if our instructions were to expand, we have done that. We have taken the 5 squared and we've written it as 5 times 5, that is an expansion. But usually we're looking to evaluate, which means now that we know what it means, 5 times 5, we're actually going to multiply those and get 25. All right, so one more example. Let's look at 4 cubed. This time the exponent is a 3, so it's telling me that that 4 needs to be written as a factor 3 times. And I'm doing multiplication in between there. That's what factors are, they're the multiplication. So 4 times 4 times 4, that would be 16 times 4, or 64. So if I'm evaluating, 4 to the third is 64. So let's take a look at our problem. We are asked to evaluate 2 to the fifth. So again, I've got that exponent there, 5. That's telling me that the 2 needs to be written as a factor 5 times. So I'm going to write the 2 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That gives us 5 2's there and I've filled in multiplication in between those. So now to evaluate this, and our instructions are to evaluate, I need to just multiply all of this out. 2 times 2 is 4 and then multiplying just 2 at a time again, 4 times 2 is 8 bringing down the other factors. 8 times 2 is 16. And then 16 times 2, 32. So the first thing that we did was we expand the exponent. And once we have it expanded, we can just multiply it all out and we have our solution, 32.